The 10 Lives Club Kitten Bowl is back by popular demand on February 3rd at 365 Sports Grill in Cheektowaga. We're here with sports experts at Trainwreck Sports to tell you more up next. I'm here today with Maniac from Trainwreck Sports and Tim Cardone, who is a volunteer and foster at 10 Lives Club. And we're going to tell you all the good things that will be happening at the Kitten Bowl. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today. It's the most magical time of the year. And no, I'm not talking about Christmas or the Bills home opener being around the corner. It is the Kitten Bowl. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't with you. So speaking of which, okay, you've been participating in the Kitten Bowl. I want to say, what is this, like the fourth year? Yeah, almost half a decade now. That's what we're putting <laughs> on our website. But yeah, of course, excited again. Not just a team with all these awesome charities, but the event itself. I mean, typically when you look at weekend plans, you know, you're looking for something to do. The Kitten Bowl is at the top of that list every time it comes around the calendar. Well, I think that most people come not only to, to see the kittens play, but I feel like you bring some sort of excitement with your commentary. Yeah, we try and keep everybody on their feet. I mean, let's face it. This is the thing, though, truthfully. When people recruit us at Trainwreck Sports, they're typically trying to take their event, which, you know, might be around a 10 or a 15. They're trying to take it up to 100. <laughs> the Kitten Bowl is already 100, so we are going to be taking it to 1,000 here in 2024. <laughs> we love that. And so our sponsors of the Kitten Bowl are Salino Plumbing and Clyde Speed and Animal Center. And every year you guys hype up those teams and really, you know, give these kittens um, names that make people excited to see them win. I mean, you really feel like you're watching the Super Bowl when you're at this event. Of course. We'll have to be doing a roster reveal. I'm sure people <laughs> People could stay tuned for that, of course. But yes, there are a number of prospects that we're really looking forward to. And we've got some here. I mean, Fanta is Fanta wishes that the game was today, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> with the way that she's going. But obviously, can't wait for next Saturday. Absolutely. So um, right now, uh, big things are happening for 10 Lives Club and, and football here in Western New York. Bill's Mafia has stepped up and raised a lot of money for the cat rescue. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, it's Bill's Mafia doing what Bill's Mafia does, right? It's there. I mean, what is the saying when the tough, when the tough, tough gets here, tough gets going or whatever? I don't know. I, I bungled that phrase. I'll admit it, folks. It's okay. But one thing <laughs> that hasn't been bungled is the response by Bill's Mafia. Obviously, you saw some bullying, some internet harassment of Tyler Bass. He's very, uh, what, he, is he number one as far as the ambassadors for 10 Lives Club? He is now. Okay, so we, lo well, we, love, to see, we love to see that. And we love to see the way that Buffalo has reacted. You know, I have a weird, you know, experience. I grew up in Buffalo till I was, you know, a, a, you know, a, young, a young whippersnapper. Moved away to, you know, New York City for about a decade and then moved back. So I have kind of a unique perspective on the Buffalo community. When you go to New York City, I mean, everyone's in it for themselves. Everyone's in their own lane. They're all doing their own thing. They're all on their own mission. In Buffalo, we do kind of do it a little bit differently here. We're all in it together, and I think this is a perfect display of that. I do, too. And, Tim, you are a cat lover. You foster for 10 Lives Club for a few years now. have helped save lots and lots of cats, and you love football. So what do you love most about football and cats? Everything. <laughs> What's not to love? What's not to love about football and cats? I mean, that's... The two, one of the two best things in my life, cats and football. So, and chili, but we did. <laughs> I'm envious of Tim because, you know, obviously, like he says, he has that passion for f football and cats. He's been able to make that a big part of his life. That's what we're all trying to do, I think. Yeah. And what do you think about, you know, 10 Lives Club receiving national recognition and, and you know, in the, in the football community and stepping up and saying we're going to, you know, support these cats uh, in honor of your favorite player, Tyler Bass? Yes, yes. I, I, I love Tyler Bass. I've been behind Tyler Bass for a long, long time. I am a truly dedicated Bills fan. I go to a game every year. And uh, it's great. It's great what the community is doing for Ten Lives Club. And uh, I, I push it and I wish the best. And I'm going to continue doing what I do. <laughs> Beautiful. And you are going to make sure that this event is so much fun. Do you think that we'll have an even bigger crowd now than past years? Yeah, I mean, let's face it. There were a couple factors these past couple years where people were probably leaning towards staying home, uh, you know, versus going out to bars and, you know, going out to venues especially. I think that'll factor in. And let's face it. I mean, the last couple years, this event, you know, it's been good each year, but it's just been continuous momentum, continuing rolling thunder. <laughs> and obviously, I think we'll have our biggest crowd yet this year. Beautiful. What are you looking forward to about the kitten bowl? Oh, I love going. The, the excitement, the cats, of course. I've had my kittens there once, and uh, I think it's a great time. 
Beautiful. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today. I can't wait for the Kitten Bowl on Saturday, February 3rd at 365 Sports and Grill in Chictawaga. And uh, let's go Buffalo. Let's go Buffalo. And let's go Fanta. Go Fanta. Fanta and Bark.